Hi everyone, Dennis Foley from Acoustic Fields. Here's our ceiling system in our test facility. And you can see that it's just strips of our one inch foam. Some are six inches across, a couple feet long. And we've attached them to our ceiling here to give you an idea of how absorption on the ceiling area or any area works for that matter. Absorption, especially with open cell foams, can occur on both sides and does occur on both sides of the surface area. So you want to make sure that you have, uh, you know, your absorption utilized in that way. And one of the things you can do about the ceiling I know this is not an ideal situation, but you notice that a lot of people, when they put sound absorption on the ceiling, they attach it to the ceiling. Well, that's a good idea if that's what your objective is, but sometimes in a more open room, in a more open atmosphere, we're not after 100% absorption on any surface area, but we don't want to go so far as to you know, do diffusion because it's awful expensive. So the, the next best solution is to alternate your absorption in a way that adds reflections into the equation. So the goal is to try to achieve some sort of balance between reflections and uh, absorption. So by hanging uh, vertical strips on the ceiling, we get the uh, the ability uh, to do that. So we have the reflections off the ceiling surfaces, which are plaster, and then we have the absorption occurring on both sides of the foam. And then you alternate that and space that out throughout the ceiling. We found that in this particular arrangement, about an 18 inch on center placement with the foam strips, this is our one inch foam, with our foam strips gives you that kind of flexibility. And uh, you can have a, an openness uh, to your presentation, but you can also manage the reflections off the surface by alternating the, the foam through the uh, ceiling surface. Probably wouldn't be acceptable to too many uh, uh, of you that have uh, dual usage rooms where you live and uh, listen to music in, but for those of you who uh, are trying to understand, you know, the boundaries and how they impact our sound quality, this is a, a method that shows you that you can balance out reflections and absorption on the same surface area. And if we step back a little bit and think about the ceiling, what is the ceiling? Well, it can't contribute anything to our sound stage, to our presentation, but it can hurt us in terms of our overall room sound quality. So we're all forced, to, especially here in North America, to operate within eight foot ceilings. So you wanna do something to the ceiling to minimize that reflection off the ceiling, because obviously the ceiling and the floor are the first reflections that reach our ears in our listening position, monitoring position, or wherever we're we're at within the room. So the goal is to get the ceiling to acoustically disappear. That's what we're trying to do. So our goal is to get the ceiling to disappear. If we get the ceiling to disappear acoustically, then we can focus our energies on the sidewalls. And that's really that lateral domain that has uh, all the benefits uh, that we're really seeking when we're doing two channel playback or a monitoring in a mixing mastering room or anything like that. So the acoustical goal with the ceiling is to get rid of it psychoacoustically, make it sound larger than it is. The only way I found that you can do that is really with a steady diet of diffusion and quadratic is the best for that particular process. So if you don't have budget and uh, you know the ability to uh, build a dedicated room and have uh, this kind of situation occur, then uh, this is one method that you can use. If you do decide to s install flat panels on the ceiling of sound absorption technology, you always want to leave an airspace on both sides because most of our middle and high frequency absorption technology is limp mass or open cell foam. And both of those technologies allow for sound absorption to occur on both sides. 
So there you go, there's our test facility ceiling. Um, this is a particular, this is a home theater room, and uh, we didn't want to take the ceiling out of the sonic equation, but we did want to minimize the uh, reflections from it, and this is uh, one way that we came up with to do that. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed our videos today, and if you did, we really would appreciate a thumbs up from you. If you have any questions or comments, you can go to the comment section, or you can go to our website, AcousticFields.com, and fill out the contact form. Subscribe to our channel, our YouTube channel. We're now doing two videos a week. If you have some ideas for topics, you can uh, submit those to us also. If you're having room issues, we have that free room analysis. You can click on the button below and we'll compare your room to our database of 120 built rooms that uh, we built and actually measured. And I guarantee you, your room is in that database. So just click on the button below for the free room analysis. Thank you.